Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at how to stake your Ethereum in Trezor Suite. If you want to know what staking is or how it works, we've made two videos prior to this explaining it. This video will strictly cover how to stake your holdings. The entire process is fairly straightforward. Starting from the dashboard, ensure that you have Ethereum activated in your Trezor Suite account. If you haven't yet activated it, you can do so in the settings. Once you're able to access your holdings, you'll see that you have the options to choose between overview staking and tokens. Navigate to the staking tab. Here, you'll see a brief overview of what staking is, but all you need to do to begin is scroll down and click on the Start Staking button. The first thing you'll see is a brief pop-up with a bullet point summary, followed by a confirmation and agreement that your staked funds will be maintained by our partner, Everstake. The next pop-up is where you'll be able to make a few decisions of your own. The first is a few presets that will let you quickly stake a fixed percentage of your holdings. Otherwise, you can enter a custom amount. The only requirement for the amount staked is that it must be equal to or greater than 0.1 ETH. The other setting you'll notice is the network fee. We give you two options, normal and custom. The network fee helps prioritize processing your transactions faster and is a built-in aspect of Ethereum structure. It also pays validators, who are effectively the people keeping Ethereum up and running. By default, we set the fee to normal, meaning you'll pay a fee that we expect allows your transaction to clear. If you're unsure of what to choose, stick with normal and you should be fine. If you instead choose a custom fee, lowering the amount means you'll pay less, but will also lower the chances of your transaction clearing. The higher fee has the opposite effect. You'll pay more, but your fee will move up in transaction priority and be processed faster. Once you've decided on the staking amount and fee, you'll see a pop-up confirming the staked conditions. Namely, a reminder that it takes time to enter your funds into a pool, and that your Ethereum will be locked until it's been added to a pool. The last pop-up you'll see is a review of your entered amounts, which will need to be confirmed using your Trezor device. If you have a PIN code, you'll be prompted to enter it, and then you'll need to confirm on the device before finalizing your staked amount in Trezor Suite. Now all you have to do is wait. Immediately after submission, you'll see three tabs showing the status of your funds. Each of these will show the stage of processing that your Ethereum is in, transaction confirmation, addition to the staking pool, and staking completion. Once this is finished, you have nothing left to worry about. Your stake funds will automatically begin earning rewards and can be unstaked at any time. Keep in mind that the unstaking period can take anywhere from a couple days to a couple weeks. The process varies based on network conditions, so plan accordingly if you need to access your staked funds at some point in the future. Now you can enjoy earning rewards and watch your holdings increase.